This video will enable Hyper-V and create a virtual machine in Windows 10. So prerequisites, you need to have Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise and you need to have VT enabled in the BIOS, that's virtual technology. Check your documentation if uh, you need to check. Okay, so first thing we will do is enable Hyper-V. Now this is found in Windows Features. So click on the search button and type Windows Features. It's actually located in the control panel in programs and features. So you can just click here, it's quicker. I've already got it open. So I'll just come here. Um, you will see in the list Hyper-V and what you want to do is put a tick next to Hyper-V and that will also place a tick next to Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. Once that's done, click OK and Hyper-V is ready to be accessed. So go to search, type in Hyper-V and you'll see Hyper-V Manager. This one, I've got that one open as well, but you just click there. And this is Hyper-V Manager. Now I've created some machines previously, so just ignore these, pretend they're not there. Um, now we're in Hyper-V, uh, we're going to create a, a virtual machine, but before we do that, we'll create a virtual switch. Um, a virtual switch basically gives internet access to the virtual machine. The virtual machine doesn't have its own network card so it's using the switch the switch is the middleman saying hey my virtual machine wants access to the internet can you hook it up laptop or pc whatever you have and it says yes and that's what the, the virtual switch does it's the middleman so i hope that makes sense um yeah so to create a virtual switch come across to the right hand side and you'll see virtual switch manager here you will see external and this is uh so we get the external access Create virtual switch is the button we press. And we can give it a name and we can call it, let's just say, uh, Internet Access. Now, if you don't want your machine to have Internet Access, you can skip this part altogether. You don't actually need to create a switch. And it is configurable afterwards if you change your mind. But um, yeah, if you do want it to have access, just continue like this. Um, you can see that it's connecting to my uh, network adapter here and you don't need to change any of these these uh, options just click OK um, it says pending changes may disrupt network connectivity that's expected behavior so we just say yes and it will start applying the changes give this a couple of moments and we will come back with a switch which is ready to give the virtual machine internet access. Okay, so the switch has been created. Next up, we'll create the virtual machine. We need software for the virtual machine. And this typically comes in a file, an ISO file, .iso is the extension. And you can get various operating systems. You can get Windows 10, you can get Linux, Red Hat. They're all different types. Um, I will show you the uh, where we can download Windows 10. Um, this is from the Microsoft site. I prefer to go to the official vendor's sites. There are a lot of um, yeah, random sites with ISOs on, but you don't know if they're packed with malware or you know, add additional bloatware, you just don't know, but you know, go to Microsoft, you know what you're getting. Um, so yeah, come to this address and it offers you the uh, installation media tool. So you have to download this tool, which is quite small, it's only 17 and a half meg. I've already downloaded that, so I will open that just here, and uh, this is the window. Once you open, the tool comes up with this window. You just click accept. Um, you want to create installation media. Say next. Um, just make sure these options are correct for you. Say next again, and this is the ISO file we want to select. So select ISO file and next. Okay, it then asks you where you want to save it and you can select the location you choose. As you can see, this is going to take some time. It's a good few gig typically, so, you know, good time to make a cup of tea and have a biscuit. Um, I've already downloaded it, so we can continue. Um, what we'll do now is go back into Hyper-V and we're going to actually make the virtual machine. So, we come across to the... Uh, right hand side and we go to new virtual machine 
and uh, just some text there and here we can give the machine a name so I'm going to call it a new machine and click next now you can select gen 1 or gen 2 uh, gen 2 gives a few more options uh, but you can read through the two I'm actually going to choose gen 1 because for, for some reason gen 2 don't work for me um, certainly try gen 2 first uh, because you can't change the machine generation afterwards so try gen 2 if it doesn't work come back to gen 1 uh, click next um, here you can assign how much RAM you want the machine to have I'm going to leave it on 1 gig because this is just a test machine and performance isn't yeah, required um, click next and here is where you can connect to the switch that we created a little bit earlier so if you don't want it to have access to the internet just click next here or drop down and select internet access we go to next and um, here's just some hard drive configuration details uh, this is the name of the machine this is the location where the hard drive is going to be saved um, you can change this if you'd like and this is important the size of the hard drive you're going to create I'm going to I mean this is going to depend on how much space you have in your C drive or you can as I say save it in a different location but just be aware of the size of the file you're creating I'm going to create 20 gigs um, because again it's just a test machine and I don't need a lot of um, a lot of space so you can leave these two options blank uh, click next and here it's going to ask for the ISO file the ISO file you will have downloaded so what I'm going to do is select install an operating system from a bootable CD select image file ISO and select the location where you downloaded that ISO file I have my ISO file so I've selected that and I click open go to next and this is just a summary if you're happy with what you've done here click finish go through configuring a few items and you can see here the machine a new machine so it's ready now to start up Windows or to install Windows should I say so what we do we can right click on the new machine and connect pops up a, a new window and click start okay it's underway Hyper-V Now this will um, this is your standard Windows setup which you may have gone through when you first got your machine. Um, pretty straightforward, but we'll go through the steps just to make sure we understand. Okay, so we just confirm um, language, time, keyboard. That's all okay. Just click next and install now. setup is starting okay so it's asking for the uh, product key we can just skip this step because it is just a test machine accept the license terms and we want to select custom Ooh. custom install was the one I selected and um, it just confirms it's 20 gig we just say next and now we'll proceed to copy Windows files get files ready for installation installing features installing updates get finished okay at this point we just go to do this later and you can use exp uh, use express settings if you wish 
Uh, if you go to customize settings, it gives you uh, a bit more control, especially with privacy. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use express settings. Okay, ask this. Okay, ask this question here. Um, we'll just go to do this later again. Use express settings. Okay, so now we're just configuring the user account. I'll just put in the username. Next. <coughs> 